Good morning, beautiful people. It is 7, 10-ish in the morning. So we're getting ready for work, or to leave to go to work, or whatever. Um, daily affirmation time. Out of my adversity comes abundance. Um, okay, I don't really, I don't really, uh, okay, cool, it's cool, I did, it's all good. So today will be a good day, you wanna know why? Oh wow, those are some squeaky brakes. What is wrong with you, cars? I'm having all sorts of issues. Last night, his little heater wouldn't turn on. It's, it's just, he's an old guy. That's okay. Today is a new day, unless you consider the fact that the only reason people think a new day is a new day is because night is supposed to like end the day, but then like for people who are graveyard and stuff, like that's the beginning of the day, so a new day is like the same day as the day before, you know, you feel? Just a thought. Either way, I am hoping today's gonna be a good day. It's Thursday, it feels like Friday, but it's Thursday, which is okay. Because, Ooh. I'm gonna go to the gym tonight. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do. I am sore though, so I need to do all sorts of stuff, I think, to work out my soreness. And I need to not skip the jacuzzi tonight because holy hell, I'm fucking sore. <laughs> do I have? Yeah, so I just want to say good morning, because it's actually morning. Um, and let's all go have a good day, yeah? Yeah. Whee! Hey there. It's lunchtime. So I see, I've seen a quote flying around on Facebook or, ah, okay, rude, or Instagram and something. And it says, if you worry, or stress or, oops. You know, essentially if you worry about a situation before you put through it, you essentially are putting yourself through it twice. And I agree with that. If, and I know sometimes you can't fully control if you have generalized anxiety and stuff like that, if you can't, or, you know, severe stuff. You can't always control how you may prepare yourself for a situation if a lot of it could be a subconscious or, you know, you just don't realize that you're doing something and you're doing it because of a certain situation. Like, and it's interesting to think about how anxiety and stress and stuff can manifest in different ways, like grinding your teeth or clenching your jaw all day or, you know, like some people have physical pains or I know my mom had a big life decision in her life years and years ago and she had really bad, I think it was hip pain and it just stayed there until she finally made a decision about the situation and did it and then it went away. And it's just funny to me, well not funny, it's interesting how the body can do things like that and how sometimes we don't catch ourselves when we're sitting there stressing about a situation or an event or, you know, just anything at all. Like, just generally being anxious for a day. Like, I have a friend who spent her entire day off being super anxious about going to work the next day. And then it got to the night, it got to that night, and she said, I've wasted my entire day off 
being anxious about tomorrow and it really pissed me off and I was like yeah well <laughs> understandably because you shouldn't well you, you shouldn't be that anxious about go, going to work anyway but you know like you shouldn't she essentially put herself through that day twice you know because she sat there not enjoying anything on her day off because she was so worried about the next day and what might come and it's just a good practice to be mindful of how you're feeling, why you're feeling it, and if you are stressing about something that you can't control because most of life obviously you can't control but you can control how you react to things and how you prepare for things like if you get excited or sit there stressing all day you know like you can control how you do those how you prepare how you react but everything else is out of your control and so I'm not saying that if you're if you're in a situation where you're constantly anxious or scared or something whether it's a job or a friendship or a relationship then by all means leave <laughs> do what's right for yourself and your well-being because you can always find another job you can always make more friends if you feel like that in a romantic relationship it's obviously not a good relationship anyway <laughs> like you know it's just and that's harder easier said than done obviously but I think that's a good lesson in mindfulness that if you're sitting there worried for hours and hours and hours about something that hasn't even happened yet you're putting yourself through that anticipation and through that stress twice because then when that thing does happen you have to react and go through it anyway so I don't know that was just a little tidbit of mindfulness that I think would be nice for people to know. So I'm gonna go eat lunch now. <coughs> well, while we're learning lessons today, how about we learn a lesson in self-awareness? If you are in a full sauna, don't put your fucking leg up on the seat taking up like four potential spots for people to sit in. That is so rude. And also somebody did that. And then it's just rude. Oh, sorry, okay. Also, if everybody is being quiet, don't sit there with your motherfucking AirPods <laughs> yelling to your friend on the phone. You wanna talk to somebody on the phone, I don't care. You do not need to yell. Take your freaking ear, take one out so you know how loud you're being in a silent, tiny little room. Please, and thank you. Thanks for coming to my TED talk on spatial and self-awareness. <laughs> oh, my contact is fucked. I had a bomb ass workout. Ugh. Today, instead of why do you keep squeaking? Okay, there's a lot of rain going on. You're squeaking like nothing's happening. The, Jesus, annoying. Instead of watching Zach Bagans, ba Bagel, Baggins, instead of watching Ghost Adventures today, I dove in to the Twilight Saga. <laughs> I started with the second one though because I've seen the first one like maybe 60 million times. Not because I super fucking love it, but just because, I don't know, for some reason, randomly, I don't, I haven't paid attention to any correlations that it might be with, but like, sometimes I just really want to watch the first Twilight. And that's the only one I've ever owned, so sometimes I just watch that a lot randomly but so I started with the second one and 
can we also learn a lesson in some motherfucking codependence? Bella, sweetheart, you tried to kill yourself because your boyfriend of like, what? Were they even together for a year? Like, <laughs> ridiculous. I know everybody wants that like romantic, oh my God, I would die for you bullshit, but come on. <laughs> that is so unrealistic, which is why it's in a movie and a book. But still, what kind of lesson are you trying to teach people? Huh? Stephanie, what was her name? Stephanie Myers? My, something like that? Stephanie Myers? Meyer? Teaching young girls to be codependent as fuck. Needless to say, I'm gonna finish the movie when I get home. <laughs> well, it's that faithful, faithful, fateful part of the day where I say goodnight to all of you lovely people because I'm gonna go to bed. I got distracted watching Twilight. Uh, cause it's entertaining, okay? It's unrealistic, it teaches bad lessons, but it's entertaining as hell and you know it. <coughs> but, so that's all I've been doing. <laughs> Since I got home from the gym, I took a shower, I made some food, and I've been watching Twilight. So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, say goodnight to y'all. I feel like we've learned lessons today, yeah? Do you feel like you've learned lessons? Excuse me, display not going to sleep. Display waking up. <sighs> I was just gonna recap the lessons we've learned today, but for you guys it's gonna be like really quick. Not like all day like me. So I'm sure you remember from like two seconds ago when I was just talking about it. So I'm not worried about you guys. Y'all are smart. Okay, um, I know I haven't said it this whole time, but don't forget to like, <laughs> please subscribe, and share, because I want to do this for a job as soon as possible, so please, <laughs> please, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow, Good night.